Hello, my name is Jesus Castillo, and I write Ruby tutorials for BlackBytes.info. And in this video, I want to talk about something called the Builder Design Pattern. The Builder Design Pattern. So what's that? What's a design pattern if you're not familiar with it? Well, a design pattern allows you to solve common object design problems. Okay, so there are many design patterns, and if you know them, you can more easily solve some design problems that they are designed to solve. Okay, so for this specific video, I want to talk about one of these design patterns. And the pattern is the Builder pattern, okay? So what's the Builder pattern? The Builder pattern is what's called a creational, creational design pattern. What that means is that it's a pattern that helps you create objects. So usually you create an object saying like cluster new, okay? And then you can give it the parameters. Like if you are creating a user, you will say like user.new and then name is whatever, Pepito, John, David, whatever. And then last name, password, all of that, email, that will be the parameters of the constructor. Okay. But there is another way to create objects and that's the builder pattern. So with the builder pattern, what you do uh, is you don't use um, parameters. What you use is methods. So you, you call one method for each parameter. Okay, so the parameters become methods. So let me explain with a code example, okay? Let me switch my screen. Okay, you should be seeing Atom now, my editor. Let's say we have something like a firewall, firewall rules. How about that? This is a firewall rule, okay? And instead of an initialize method, um, we are going to have like this, um, destination, destination, um, and then what we do here, destination equals the destination, okay, and then we return self, that's important for the builder pattern, okay, so every one of these methods is like a setter method, but it returns self. And you will see why in a moment. So destination, um, source. So this the kind of things me, you might want to have in in a firewall rule. Oops, what did I do? Um, okay. We still return self. Okay. And now protocol, for example. So that's another. I'm just going to create free to, so we have something to work with. So this is your firewall rule. So now to create this, we'll do something like fw.new. And now fw um, destination. Okay. And this could be like whatever google.com. Okay. So what we the point of this is that we're not using this like google.com in a normal uh, way to do it without this pattern will be to do this. We just pass the things as parameters. Okay. But in the builder pattern, we use methods. Okay, and we're not done. The, 
yet until we call what's called a finalizer method. So that will be, it's usually like build, that's the what the pattern says, the build method, but you can call it anywhere, anything else. For example, enable, I like like enable rule, rule. okay. So what we can do is this, and um, destination and um, source uh, localhost and protocol TCP, something like that. And then we will call enable to, fi to finalize, fina finalize. Yeah. That's quite a word. So the point here is that we are changing, chaining, chaining, not changing, chaining this method calls to set the different parameters. So what are the advantages? What are the benefits of using this pattern over just regular parameters? Well, the thing is, this allows you to change the order like that. You can change the order. Um, you also have clear names. Okay, for this, you can clearly see, oh, this is the source, oh, this is the destination, oh, this is the protocol. And we can also make this optional, so we could have like a default protocol. Okay, and yeah. That's what the builder part does. It gives you more flexibility when creating your object. Okay. Um, and then the enable will just take all the finishing, whatever it, the, op, the class actually does. Then it will take together of the, all of these values and do something with it, okay? So we don't use this pattern that much in Ruby because we already have something called keyword parameters. So with keyword parameters, we do something like this. For word role, it will look um, like this. Destination, okay, and uh, source, and um, protocol. So the thing is, this allows you to do name, name uh, parameters. So you can do this, okay, like that. And you can still have defaults as well if you want. So for a default here, we will do TCP. Okay. So this already covers a lot of the things that the builder pattern allows you to do. Including, I believe, changing the order. So you could have the source before the destination if you want to do that. I would recommend to keep the order in this if you are doing this. But I believe this still works, okay? So and another thing you can do in Ruby is use the tab method. Tab method. Let me show you an example. And the tab method, you add it like this, okay? So what this does is it gives you the, the object and you can call methods on it. Like let's say the destination. Then you can call, hold on. Yes, uh, you can call the, so you can set the source, like source and uh, localhost. Uh, google.com okay so now this becomes very similar to the builder pattern tcp 
So for, to use that, the class will look something like that, like this, firewall rule. And then we will have um, attribute accessors. So we can see the set. Okay, source port. Will look something like that. So that's the tab method. And it's uh, really similar to the builder pattern. It allows you to set your parameters using these uh, methods, which are created by attribute accessor. Okay? So that's three ways to create objects right here. One is the builder pattern, which looks like something like this. Okay. Then we have the keyword arguments. Looks like this. And then we have the tab method. Okay. So if you don't know which to use, I will use stick to regular arguments. No. No keywords at all. So that looks like that. You know this. And then, and then if you want more clarity on your arguments, this is good. If you only have like one argument, it probably doesn't matter. Okay, just regular arguments. But if you only have more, and you want to be explicit about what each argument is, you can use the keyword, or you can just use this with the tab method. Okay? So I hope you found this useful. Give me a uh, plus one, share it, all of that. Okay? Thanks for watching.